Hi, good to be with you again. We've been uh, looking at uh, a passage from John chapter 5 over the last couple of days, and uh, we're going to continue with that today. Uh, we're actually looking at verse 8 today, just one verse. Have you ever been in the position where you needed some direction? And by that I mean you needed somebody to say to you, this is what you need to do. Perhaps you've been presented with uh, options, possibilities or opportunities that you haven't had before. Um, it seems to me that very often um, we don't just get a chance to do one new thing at a given time. You get two or three things, it'll pop up at the same time. And then, then you're faced with a bit of a dilemma. Do I go this way or do I go that way? Do I do this thing or do I do that thing? You wonder about the ramifications of your decisions and what life might look like on the other side of the decision-making process. You know, I think we're all too often worried about change and whether it's for the good or for, for worse and what we might need to do to adapt or change afterwards. Sometimes it's that voice of authority that gives us the nudge to go through the door and enter into a new era. Verse 8 says this, Jesus said to him, get up, pick up your mat and walk. At once the man was cured. He picked up his mat and he walked. Simple. But can you imagine what must have been going through his head? If I can walk, I'll be able to go to different places. I won't need to rely on other people. I'll be able to fend for myself. And on the other hand, he'd be thinking, after 38 years, I have no skills. I have no work history. I don't have a CV. I've lived on charity from others for years, so how would I cope? Two different voices that would be tugging at him and, and begging for a decision. For him, the voice of Jesus was enough to get him to quite literally take the first step. Get up, pick up your mat and walk. So I want you to think today about the things that you're wrestling with. What are the decisions that you need to make? What is it that's holding you back? What, what are the dilemmas that you're wrestling with? And more to the point, what is it you need to hear in order to be able to make the decisions that need to be made? Do you need to hear Jesus say, get up, take your mat and walk? Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I pray that you would speak to us today. In the things that we're wrestling with, would you come and speak that word of, of authority over us, that word that gives us the confidence to take a step forward. I pray, Lord, that you would fill each of us with the peace of knowing that faith in you and in your provision uh, is all that we need. So, Holy Spirit, we invite you to come now. Just come. Lord Jesus, come and fill us with your presence, fill us with your spirit, that we might know the things that you're calling us into. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.